Hi everybody, it's Day Thrive back at it with another video. Today I will be comparing two apps, Invel and Cube, and they are both apps that are designed to help people take control of their money and budget better. I started using these apps when I got my first big girl job because I started noticing that I kind of had the wealth effect where I was spending more money the more that I made. And I also had a change in the frequency that I got paid. Um, with my job now I get paid every two weeks whereas before I got paid every week and for some reason it is just much much easier to manage your money when you get paid weekly versus bi-weekly so this these apps are designed to help with that problem the first thing that I'm going to be talking about when comparing these apps is the cost to use these apps Envil is completely free there is no paid version so everything that you get with app is free Cube, on the other hand, does have a free version and a paid version. The free version is okay. Um, I think for most people it will satisfy their needs, but the premium version is the best version. With the premium version, you get unlimited cubes. I probably should explain. When I refer to cubes, those are the different spending categories. For example, you could have one cube or category called hair you can have another cube or category called cell phone so with the paid version like i was saying you can get unlimited amount of cubes or categories whereas with the free version you are limited to 10 different cubes or categories um with the paid version you can also have a joint account if you have a partner with the paid version you can have reoccurring transfers that can be scheduled with the paid version you can have a virtual debit card and a virtual account number assigned to you as well. I would say um, in terms of price, Envel does beat Q because a lot of those features are in Envel as well, but because the app is completely free, you don't have to pay for it. Whereas Cubed, if you really wanna get the maximum amount of benefits outside of the app, you have to pay. Next, I will be walking you guys through the functionality of each app. To start off with, I'll go over Cube. They have a bill section, they have a spending section, and that's where the cubes are. You can create different cubes such as hair, food, different day-to-day -day spending um, categories is what the spending section would be for, whereas bills would be more for cell phone, electricity, rent. And lastly, they do have a section called goals, which I think is more new to the app. In the bill section, Cube does let you pretty much completely customize everything related to the bill, such as the bill frequency. You can also create the monthly budget in the bill section the amount you will be paying towards the bill, the due date, and it will also give you an account number as well as a debit card number. That way you have two different ways of paying the bill. With Cube, you will also have to create the different cubes, which as I said before, is in the spending section and it is basically just the different categories where you do the day-to-day -day spending. I will note that you have to activate the category that you want to spend from in Cube every time you want to spend from that category so for example let's say you go to um, the beauty supply store and you have to get beauty supply stuff you have to activate it then when you're charging the card and then if you notice that you forgot something you will have to reactivate that cube in order to spend from that category again I will note that they do have a feature that lets you pre-authorize a certain amount or a certain purchase um, the goal section you basically put the you know goal title how much you want to contribute monthly the desired date that you want to reach your goal um, the amount that you want to put into your goal next i will go on to talk about envel so with envel you basically start off with a spending envelope so when money is deposited into your envel account that is where the money will go from there you have to create different envelopes that you want the money to go into so you can create um, an envelope for car repairs you can create an envelope for pet care um, and then there is automatically a vault which is like a savings option and i think that is really good for people who tend to go into their savings a, a lot because it makes it kind of difficult and increases the barriers to getting the money out of the vault because you have to insert the amount that you want to take out you got to insert what it's for and then you have to um confirm that you really want to take out the desired amount of money that you said with envil you can have an unlimited amount of different envelope and you can link the card because they send you a debit card to the spending envelope which is like the free money or you can link it to the specified envelope when you link an envelope to a card you have 15 minutes to use 
um, whatever envelope you connect to it. Now, if it's in the spending, like I said, that's the free money. It doesn't have a certain amount of time. Um, so if you go to the store, you can just swipe your card and it'll automatically come out of the spending. But if you want to link it to a different envelope outside of spending, such as if I had an envelope titled um, pet care and I wanted that to be separate, I want to keep a certain amount in the pet care budget and I want to keep that separate from my spending money, then I would activate the pet care and it would stay activated for 15 minutes. And then after that, the remaining money would go back into that pet care envelope. And like I said, I just want to make sure that I'm clear that um, if the money is in the spending section, it can be spent whether or not the card is activated. Um, so that to me is a benefit because you can have a certain amount like 50 or $100 in your spending section to use for emergencies. I will also say that um, they do have a goal section as well. Very, very similar to Cube's goal section where you put a desired amount, a date, your contributions, things of that nature. And I will note that Envel does have a very special, unique feature called Autopilot, which Cube does not have to my knowledge, where it will automatically, um, based on your budget and based on your spending history, it will automatically um, put money in each of the different envelopes and in your goals section and in your vault and in your spending section in a way that maximizes your savings goals, which is a pretty unique feature. I'm not gonna lie though, I don't really use the autopilot feature because I kinda wanna have more control um, over how I spend my money, but I will use that feature soon and when I do, I'm gonna upload a more detailed video on how I feel the autopilot feature perform. So now we're gonna talk about the differences in the transfer options um, for transferring money in and transferring money out uh, with the two different apps. With Cube, you can transfer money in using um, instant card deposits up to $100. You can do bank transfer into the account and you can do direct deposit to get money into the account. Now for withdrawals, you are pretty limited. You can only do ATM withdrawals and using the debit card. With Envel, um, you can do transfers in using um, direct deposit, which is what I do, or you can use a bank, supposedly. I will say this because the feature for some reason is locked on my account. It does not let me transfer money in or out with the bank, but it does let me uh, transfer money in using direct deposit. So it is kind of inconvenient. I feel like Envel has more bugs. I feel like Cube is more developed and just it has less bugs and less issues. In both of them, your money is protected. It is FDC, FDIC insured. And with Envel, you can also transfer money out basically the same way as with um, Cubed using bank. And you can also transfer money out using ATM withdrawals. It is important to note that neither of these mobile banking um, budgeting apps allow you to do mobile check deposits. Neither of the apps let you do ATM deposits, which also suck. But overall, I will give you my impression of who these different apps are for and the pros and cons of each. So with Cube, like I said before, the pro is that it is more customizable. It is more put together in my opinion and um, less issues than Envel. And I will say one thing with Cube that is beneficial, if you're someone who forgets to cancel free trials or have a bunch of monthly subscriptions, it will not automatically take that out because you have to activate your cube anytime you want to spend. So in that regard, it helps you to remember to cancel. But Envel for my needs is more practical because I don't have to keep activating every time I want to use the card. Um, and I do want to try out that autopilot feature, which is unique to Envel. So now is the final verdict of who are each of these apps for. To me, Envel is more for people who are busy, people who want things that are more practical and more easy to use in day-to-day -day life. Cube, on the other hand, is for people who prefer a more detailed oriented, more line by line type of budget. Envel, for me, is definitely my top choice and it is my main banking app at this point in time. Let me know if you guys have any questions or if there's anything you want to see in specific with regards to either of these apps. 